Did you know that 61% of people who want to go glamping look for inspiration on social media? That's why it's so important for your glamping business to be Instagram worthy. And at the end of today's video, I'm going to show you three tips on exactly how to do that without breaking the bank. New glamping resorts, accommodations, and developments have seen significant growth in the past three years and many of them are backed by big hotel chains. And these brands have some serious cash. So you might be wondering if it's even possible to compete with the likes of the Hilton and Hyatt hotel chains. Well, if you follow the advice in this video, as well as throughout my channel, yes, you can absolutely create memorable, aesthetic experiences that guests rave about on Instagram. In other words, you can create a world-class resort experience on a tiny budget. You see, it's not about how much money you spend to build your glimpse site, but it's about how much effort you put into creating a special Instagram-worthy experience for your guests. Look at these reviews of my current Airbnbs. What do they have in common? They rave about the decor. While they like the decor, there's also something going on with the decor that people may not even notice, but is contributing to why they like it. Can you guess what that is? Well, there is a consistent design theme. So that is the first tip for creating an Instagram-worthy glamping experience. Decide on a specific design theme. Two ways you can do this. One is to find inspiration on sites like Pinterest and Google, by searching glamping decor and similar search terms. Another is to take a low-cost interior design course on sites like Udemy. You can find helpful courses for less than 50 bucks. Here's one that I took that was really helpful in breaking down the different types of interior design styles, and I highly recommend it. Now, having cohesive design does not mean you've spent a lot of money. Take a look at two of my listings. We spent just $5,000 each to furnish these entire apartments by shopping at places like Amazon, Home goods, and even Ikea for things like plants. And if you want more information about how to furnish and decorate your Airbnbs on a budget, then check out this video here. With the interiors cohesively designed, it's easy to think that your job is done. But take a look at these glamping businesses and look at their exteriors specifically. What do you notice? They've invested in things like pathways, signs, plants, hot tubs, fire pits, community spaces like pools, and all of these things are a great thing to invest in if you want to make your glamping experience and your glamping business Instagram worthy. So save on the interior and spend on the exterior and the landscaping. And that is the next tip on how to make your glamping business Instagram worthy. The exterior amenities and landscaping is not a place to skimp on spending. However, this is an area where you can do a lot of the work yourself to save on cost. For example, instead of spending money on creating pebble walkways, you could use mulch and gather large stones from around the property to mark the boundaries of the walkways. Let's move on to the third tip. Research on who goes glamping shows that above all, they value having experiences in nature. There are two ways that you can provide this to your guests. The first is by being located near national and state parks as well as other natural attractions. But the thing to think about there is that land close to those types of things can tend to be very expensive. The other way you can create outdoor experiences is to do it on or close to your glamping business. For example, if your land is big enough, you could create a hiking path. Now, this wouldn't be easy, but you could create something simple with a series of picnic benches located strategically throughout your land, or you could build natural benches and chairs using wood logs. Another way you could do this is to partner with locals who know the area well and could give guided tours. You could also partner to provide foodie, brewery, or winery tours if those are near you. You could also partner with local chefs who could cook private dinners for your guests, or you could partner with local observatories or even astronomy students to give stargazing tours at night. The point here is to think creatively about the assets that your land and local area have and integrate them into your guest experience. And this is really the third and final tip of this video. However, there is something that you have to keep in mind. Here's the biggest takeaway of all. The more small, 
aesthetic, and thoughtful touches that you are willing to provide to your guests, the more Instagram worthy your glamping business is going to be. If you're willing to put a system into place so that every guest gets welcomed with a personalized welcome sign, for example, the more likely your guest is to photograph that and post it on Instagram. Some of these small touches the big hotel chains just aren't gonna do because they take time and they require manual labor. However, if you're willing to put in the work and the systems in place to sustain these small touches, then you can really stand out. Now, everything that I've talked about in this video assumes that you already know how to start a glamping business. If you don't, then check out this video here where I take you step-by-step step through the entire process of how to start a glamping business. To become an Airbnb host, check out my links down below. You'll earn $40 after hosting your first guest. And also check out the links down below for my recommendations to decorate and furnish your short-term rental like a pro. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Bye-bye.